Hey guys, this is Ryan with Tonic Site Shop. Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can add Shopify buy buttons to your short website template. Shopify buy buttons are hands down the easiest way to get started selling digital and physical products with a show it website template. If you're interested in learning how to create an e-commerce shop on your show it website template, be sure to check the links in the description below. All right, so like I mentioned, adding Shopify buy buttons to your show it website template is really easy. And if you're not familiar with what Shopify buy buttons do, let me go ahead and show you. I created a little shop of tour guides and if you click on any of the products it leads you to a product page and if you click on the buy now button you'll see that a nice slide out cart appears where people can view the products in their cart and then check out if they click on check out it brings them to a really nice checkout page and all of this is done with Shopify buy buttons. To add a Shopify buy button to your show website template, you need to have a Shopify account and you need to activate the buy button sales channel. Once you've activated that, go ahead and click on buy button and you'll see you can create a buy button. We're gonna be creating product buy buttons, so go ahead and click on that. And then let's click on the product that you want to create a buy button for. In this case, I'm gonna be creating a buy button for the Athens travel guide. Let's hit select. Now, Shopify has a ton of different styles that you can apply to the button and to the layout and also to the shopping cart, which is really cool because you can make it match your show it website template. Once you're done designing your button, go ahead and click on next and then click on copy code. At this point, you can head over to show it and find the product page that you've created for your digital or physical product. And then what we wanna do is we wanna add an embed code box to the page, and then we're gonna add that code that we copied from Shopify to the box and then click on save. Now you'll see a button appears in that embed code box, and that's what we want. Now you have a few different options. If you've already designed a button inside of Show It, you can lay this button right on top of the Show It button, and then go to Effects, and turn the opacity of the embed code box down to zero. What this is gonna do is it's going to allow you to still have the Shopify Buy button activated on this page. However, you get to use the button that you designed and show it. Now, another way of doing this is just to use the Shopify buy button, delete the button that you designed in show it. So either way works. I actually prefer to use the show it designed button because you can add the price in there and you have a lot more customization with the actual button. So we've added the button right on top of the existing button. I'm gonna go ahead and copy this because I have another area down here where it says, yep, I want this. We're gonna paste that and then we're just gonna add the button right on top of that as well. You can make that 50% transparent just to kind of see where it's lined up and then go ahead and make it zero again. Now if we hit preview, and we go back to our preview page, and we can preview this. Now, currently we already have the Lisbon travel guide in our cart, and if I click on buy now, it's gonna add the Athens travel guide as well. Now, one thing I wanted to show you guys is if I go back to the travel shop, you'll notice that the cart icon is gone. However, whenever I go to a product page, the cart icon is there. If you want the cart icon to show up on your shop page as well, all you'll need to do is add a Shopify buy button to the shop page. And you can hide this so it's not visible anywhere, but it just gives this page the needed code to add the cart icon. So let's go ahead and click on page, click the three dots next to the page title, and click on add blank canvas. Let's name this canvas cart code and then we're gonna make the canvas background transparent. 
and then we're going to add an embed code box and paste that code. We can set the opacity to zero and then we're going to make this canvas one pixel tall. So what happens is it's at the very bottom of our website. It's only a pixel tall and the embed code is hidden, but this still allows Shopify to have the cart code on that page. So if we preview that page and we refresh, you'll see that the cart icon is now on the shop page. Thanks so much for watching. I hope that this video has helped you out. If you guys have any other questions about how to use Shopify with your show it website template, please feel free to leave a comment.